All right, ladies and gents, so you've seen us cutting out these, uh, the ISC, which stands for Irvington Sportsman's Club Practical Pistol Match, uh, and we've got 11 of them cut out. What they're going to do, they're going to be like uh, years past. If you guys have watched my videos a couple years, uh, you'll understand that we come in here and we put the uh, brass plate in there. It's got a shooter's name. Uh, what division they were in, uh, what place they were, the whole nine yards. So they'll get that squared away. I think those plates are a couple dollars a piece. Uh, dresses them up real good. We're going to come in here and do a uh, a, a gold metallic uh, with all the fancy designs on it. We're going to come in here and do a silver metallic with all the fancy designs on it. And a bronze for third place. We're going to do a fancy design on those two. But sot went above and beyond and they stepped outside of their comfort zone and did a little donating to the club i hope they're okay with it uh we haven't checked in with the gentleman who ordered these fine and dandy trophies yet uh but i'm sure there's some females who've shot down there before we want to give a top female there's some older gentlemen who shoot down there on a regular basis want to shout out to those guys they watch my videos from time to time so shout out to those guys they know who they are doc <laughs> But, uh, yeah, top senior and the top youth. This is what keeps this club going on a regular basis. So, the the future is in the youth. We want to make sure we, uh, we do something for those fine, outstanding individuals. The seniors, they're there to train the youth, and the females are there to keep us all straight. So, we... <laughs> uh, it's just how it goes sometimes. So let's get over here we're gonna get all these cleaned up and everything then we'll get in here hopefully we'll have a little video of getting some paint on uh and see how everything turns out got to get them outside there uh tomorrow get them a little etched up so this video will roll over a day or two maybe a little longer than that not sure got a whole bunch of stuff going on but yeah let's uh let's get these trophies prepared and see how they turn out all right ladies and gents we are back on the trophies just brought them in from outside they've been out there drying got uh this is what they look like. We get them etched up. See, got a little rust on the back where that mill scale is still on there. Uh, of course, our solution kind of comes around the edge here, and we'll get uh, a little rust on there. It's all surface rust on that mill scale. Nothing, nothing major. But you can see where we took the mill scale off. It doesn't rust near as bad. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good thing. So, it goes from this right here. It's kind of dull-looking, shiny metal. To, we got her all wire wheeled up there. She's all prim and proper. This is a little bit ugly, huh? A piece of metal. It's got a few pits and stuff in it. Uh, along with this one, it does too. I may cut a couple more out. But this is... Get her wire wheeled off. Then we put our fancy dandy designs in there, as you can see. Looking pretty sharp. And then we'll get primer on the back. Get... Uh, Get some metallic paint on the front of them and see what happens. Got some other stuff going on here while we're at it. When we're uh, doing our etching solution, we just like to fill her up out there and get them all done while we can. So, yeah, we're uh, doing a little bit of everything today. All right, next time you guys see us, we should be getting either primer or paint on. Uh, yeah. Oh, and while we're at it, I've uh, been over here using this magnetic chuck. If you guys hadn't checked this video out on, uh, on SOT Metalworks, you need to do that. That thing is coming in handy. So for you guys don't know, just flip the switch there. We got a big magnet, and I'm telling you what, she holds her down. I mean, take the magnet off, and then you can do whatever you need to do. But great, great deal when you're trying to wire wheel, do a little grinding, touch up stuff like that. So heck yeah, y'all need to invest in one of these if you don't have one yet for this kind of kind of small stuff. It works out mighty mighty fine. All right, ladies and gents, I'm all dressed all prim and proper down here in my safety shoes and, and all that stuff, but we're just spraying a little paint on, going to get some color on this stuff. We're gonna use this uh, metal cast, do a little metallic, almost a candy type. Get this stuff in here and see how it turns out. It, uh, this paint paints just like water. If I haven't said that before, I'm sure I have, but this stuff will run all over the place on you so but on a side note it dries so fast that you can come back really quick and uh, put another coat on it so 
We've got the uh, top youth and the top senior here. We're going to get them painted up in the gold color. Make them look all prim and proper. Not a whole lot to these trophies. They are fairly easy to do. Just uh, the etching is a little bit of a process. And it, uh, it does make them a little, a little tough on that aspect. Not not too not too bad not too bad there I like the outcome of it turns out a really really good product and uh, let you personalize those trophies pretty pretty good get all the images all the images these are trophies. They gotta look top notch, I mean. Alright, there's those. That turned out fairly well. Let's uh let's get the other colors on here, see what happens. Alright guys and gals, here is the uh, top female trophy award we uh we cut out on the shop saber cnc gonna do a little different color on this hopefully this doesn't offend nobody uh, but we don't get a chance to use this color a whole lot and i really really think it turns out just a cool looking color man if i get you guys if i get the camera on here i mean you guys could probably see what the heck is going on i mean that's just terrible ain't it just you think after doing YouTube this long, I'd have this stuff down pat, but uh, yeah, fail, ultimate fail. But it turns out a pretty cool looking color. I really like that purple. Don't get to use it on enough uh, enough projects, but this one, this one was made for it, I think. All right, let's get the other ones painted up, see what happens. All right, so we've got our third place trophies here. I'm going to go with the bronze, uh, that's what I kind of call it. Uh, it's supposed to be like an orange, but it really comes out bronze looking, so. And this paint, just, you guys remember, if you use this paint, this metal cast stuff, the longer you let this stuff sit on the shelf, the cloudier it comes out. Uh, this can here has been around for a little while has uh has seen a day or two so it still works good you just have to give it a little time to react uh you can probably watch the cloudiness kind of roll out of it there And it don't matter how many times, how long I shake it up, nothing. It always comes out a little cloudy to start with. Weird, this, this paint is some of the weirdest stuff I've ever painted. Oh, like I said a million times, it's like painting with water. It's just so, so weird. there we have it. there is our four place our four third place finishers got those done let's get the silver done see what happens all right so we're up with the old uh silver uh this is a color you, you just it doesn't show up real well on this shiny metal uh it's a little difficult to paint because you can't tell where you paint where you haven't but uh, huh, i promise you it is getting painted. It is uh, letting all the designs through. Everything is looking good. That's yours. Second place finishers right here. Uh, because there's only three of these, the gentleman who ordered the trophies, uh, he got a second place uh, position, I believe. Uh, but to make it cheaper and easier on the club, he said, uh, "Don't cut me one out because I don't. I've got trophies from." 
from the past. He's he's that good of a shot. I mean, he's uh, no, he's uh, trying to help the club out, not letting them spend a bunch of money on this stuff. This year was a little rough on the club down at Irvington. They uh, the COVID hit pretty hard. People were kind of in and out, in and out. Uh, some matches happened, some didn't, but they did a fine, outstanding job on uh, on getting everything done down there. They, uh, with all the adversity they faced, they did a fine, outstanding job. There's your silver. So that would be your second place finishers. And like I said, we're going to come back in here. Uh, the gentleman ordered plates to put in here. It's got uh, what class this is for, what, uh, what division, all that stuff. So he'll have all that information in there. And I'll try to be down there and set up so I can hopefully get some video, finished video of uh, how this turns out. Should turn out fairly well. All right, guys. So that was the Urban Sportsman's Club uh, pistol match trophies. Didn't get a finished video. Something happened to my video uh, when I did an overview of all the trophies together. Hopefully, you guys got a little understanding of how they turned out, what they look like, stuff like that. So apologize for that. It's always something we just dag on cameras. It's just so difficult from day to day to get stuff squared away. It's just aggravating as heck. But having fun still doing YouTube, so can't complain. Uh, no complaints there whatsoever. But the next video uh, we'll have after this one should be the Urban uh, Pistol match itself. Going to have a few stages in there, uh, how they run, what they run, um, just different things. Uh, some of the trophies they're going to give away. Uh, might have got some of the steel challenge in there. Um, and we went and done a setup. So there's a lot of unloading, loading. Uh, I had a helper with me, so it was his first time down there. So we showed him around the club a little bit. Maybe that'll give you guys an overview of how the club is and, and stuff like that too. So stick with us and wait on that one. It's, uh, it's going to be a pretty good video, I think. So, all right, guys, we're going to cut on out of here. Remember, stay safe out there. Gosh, how many times I got to say this? Work smarter, not harder. Thank you guys for watching. We out.